Good morning. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. Just got these in the mail. By the way, I got a new piercing yesterday. Jeffrey, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh my god. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Too bad, right? It's not that bad. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah, it hurts. I've been wanting to get this piercing for a while, but I was too scared to commit. But then my neighbors wanted to get new piercings as well, so we all did it together. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. It's funny because ever since I've moved here, every time I've had like a deep conversation with somebody, the topic of love and relationship always gets brought up. I think because I'm living alone, a lot of people get curious about if I'm dating or not. Last year, I started liking this girl and it was kind of annoying because it was one of those, yep, you don't choose who you love because it just happened that I grew feelings more and more. We started off as just friends, but I'm a strong believer that anybody should love themselves before loving somebody else. And in the midst of my move, I was going through a lot of stress and a lot of things that I wanted to deal with first. So I never made a move or expressed my feelings. I basically just kept it a secret. Oh, this is bigger than I thought. Which kind of sucked because I just felt like because I didn't really find my footing here, I wouldn't be able to make her happy if I wasn't able to do that for myself. Later on, I learned that she started dating another person, which I guess it's fine, because ultimately when you like somebody, you just want them to be happy. And if that person is able to do that for her, then it's totally cool. Still hurts though. Whoa, that's so cool. This company called Canvas Free saw that I moved out and wanted to send me some decorations for my apartment. I chose the character from my favorite anime. I got another one. Maybe because Valentine's Day is right around the corner and it's that season of companionship, I've been reminiscing like some of the moments we've had together. I can't pinpoint what it is. I feel like I definitely moved on. I've been feeling much happier these days. Maybe it's one of those things where I think about what if I had my current mental state back then? Would I have acted differently? Looking back, I still feel like I made a right decision to take my time. I feel like our brain always finds a way to look back and question whether you should regret something or not. Or maybe it's not even regret. Maybe it's just our brains always looking at the past to see how we can grow and learn from our mistakes. <laughs> I love this so much. I got the brother and the sister. Thank you, Candace Freaks, for sending this over. <sighs> my neighbor came back from vacation and got me my first plant. So I'm gonna put this in a pot. I actually don't have a pot. I just have a mug. Growing up, I didn't really have that much luck with love. I was kind of a late bloomer. I was really small, skinny. There was also not a lot of Asian guys with the people I grew up with. So in high school, I was made fun of by the other kids or grownups would actually bully me and push me around in the lockers. I just knew I just wasn't the most manly person in the room. So I never really had that much confidence approaching girls, but in the last year of high school, I signed up for this musical and that's when a girl hit on me. And for the first time, it made me feel really confident and validating and it kind of boosted my ego. By the way, this was 11 years ago. It was my first and only relationship. We started to get to know each other and slowly but surely I started liking her. The problem was I was just not that confident of a person. So I started projecting a lot of my insecurities on her. She would talk to other guys and I would be jealous of that. And it would cause a lot of unnecessary conflict. Also, a lot of people started treating me differently because I was in a relationship. Somehow I felt cooler. After a few weeks of that, I was like, maybe I'm just not ready for a relationship. <coughs> uh, sorry. So I decided to end things. And to my surprise, she started crying. Like I didn't, I had no idea I was worth crying for. And I felt really bad. It was like, it fed my ego to the point where I had to hurt somebody in the process. So since then, I've been wanting to be in a relationship with somebody that I know I can commit to. I also grew up borrow dancing and what I would see was just retired couples dancing together. So I kind of romanticized that image in my head, finding a significant other that I could be with for the rest of my life. Because at the end of the day, as much as it's fun to have intimacy and the thought of kissing or hugging or cuddling sounds great, I think the most important thing is just finding somebody you can be best friends with. Somebody you can connect emotionally and spiritually, not just physically, you know? 
So I haven't had a girlfriend for the last decade. I've always felt a little pressured about these rules where you have to make a move on the first date or whatever, but I'm really adamant about like, let's just be friends first. So I guess my dating process is a little slower. And to be honest, I didn't really meet anybody right now that blew my mind away and I want to make a move in the first date. Um, there has been people that made me curious and I just want to get to know them a little more. But um, I guess I just don't want to rush things when it comes to relationships. I'm not sure if this is the best place to put this, but it doesn't look too bad. Stop. Whew. I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna make a smoothie. It's funny, I think the last time I liked somebody, even before last year, was four years ago. It was another person that I met just as friends. And we started to talk a lot and we would call each other in the evening. We were just kind of getting to know each other. But then at one point, I remember we were in a car ride with some of her friends and I didn't really know her friends all that much. I was sitting in the front and suddenly I hear one of her friends talk about her boyfriend. I was like, wait, she never told me she had a boyfriend. That's weird. So the next day, I confronted her about it and she said she didn't want to tell me about it because it was complicated. So it was another one of those situations where I got to know somebody, grew feelings and I wanted to take my time with it. And then I learned a few months later that she had another person in her life. So yeah, I was like, of course that would happen to me. So then I moved on and I was like, that's a red flag. Ever since then, I guess I just kind of focused on my career and never really thought about dating. I'll meet the one when it's time to meet the one. And at the same time, they do say, love finds you when you least expect it. <laughs> wow. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Mama. What? Regarde mon pain. Ouais, c'est bon. C'est bon, <laughs> ouais, je sais pas. J'ai place à amélioration, mais au moins sur caméra c'est beau. Si c'est pas bon, mais c'est pas grave. Au moins les gens pensent que je sais plus de nous. En tout cas. <laughs> oh, what a day! I feel like the bread could be fluffier, but it's my first time. The bread is actually pretty soft. See, I feel like this year I just want to do new things like this and just grow as a person on my own last year to get over a heartbreak i was just writing my diary to kind of put my emotions into words and understand myself better it was really therapeutic at first but then after writing it every day for a few weeks i just felt like it was consuming my life so if there's an advice i can give to anybody that's dealing with something similar it's just to like try new things and once you accomplish something new, you kind of get your mind off of the negative. The whole time I was making this bread, I was just thinking about how I'm gonna mess up this bread. Um, but thankfully, I wasn't thinking about anything else. I was just thinking about the present moment and putting all the ingredients together. I think the first thing I was feeling last year was just kind of embarrassed that I put myself in this situation. Even though nobody was watching or even knew the situation was happening, I mean, my close friends did. I don't know, it just felt weird that there's not a happy ending again. Like I hated opening up about this to my friends, but it's such a normal thing to go through. I mean, even if you understand that it's time to move on, you're still gonna feel all these emotions and it's gonna creep up on you. Oh my gosh, I'm full. I think I'll save this for tomorrow. I don't know what I just said, but hope it made sense. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, feelings are feelings, they're gonna creep up on you. Better to accept them than to reject them.